thou, though thy beginning was small, yet thy right hand should greatly increase. Hallelujah. Amen. Do not despise small beginnings, somebody. God begins humbly and continues increasing. They began with their bones coming to its bones. But God was seeing a great army, alive and well and prosperous. Glory to God. Amen. It is after you see the bones move and you, get, you see them filled with skin and sinew that your faith rises for the next level to see this army which is dead rise up. Amen. There's one thing seeing the bone move. There's another seeing people dying, lying there dead in the flesh. But it's another thing to see life come to them. Amen. See them raised from the dead. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Why? You can see the head from the beginning as God is seeing. You can see and you can anticipate the next miracle. And you can begin to embrace yourself by faith to receive the next instruction from God. Amen. That God may accomplish the miracle it began. Amen. Hallelujah. In each stage, there is a specific instruction. We cannot live on the old instruction, somebody. We cannot live on the old one word we received. Amen. We need a new word. We need a new instruction for the next level. Amen. You want to go to the next level? Then you need to, to, to trust God for a new word. Amen. You need to trust God for another word for the next level. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Some of us, we believe by the 1970s or 1980s or 1995 or 2000, when God spoke to us this one word, we are believing this one word and we have gone this far. But God, that is not the end. God does not want to remain, you to remain in this far. He wants you to go to another step. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. And he wants to give you another instruction. Hallelujah. God spoke for a second time. And Ezekiel, he told Ezekiel, prophesy to the dead army. Prophesy that they may have life. Amen. Amen. And the Bible says in Ezekiel 7, 9 to 10. Then said he unto, the, unto him, unto me, prophesy unto the weed. Prophesy, son of man. Say to the weed, thus says the Lord. Amen. Amen. Come from the four weeds, O breath. Breathe upon this rain and they may live. Amen. So I prophesied as he commanded me. And the breath came on into them, and they lived and stood up upon their feet, and an exceeding great army. You may have prophesied to your marriage, and the man usually comes to visit you and go. Amen. But it's time to go to the next level. You need to remain in the house as your husband. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You have seen children change, but it's time they start prospering. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. You need to go to the next level. I prophesy to you. Hallelujah. I prophesy life to your daddy's situation right now. I declare your strained marriage shall live. I declare your strained business shall live. Hallelujah. Your strained, car, your strained career shall be restored. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I declare your career shall be restored. Your job shall be restored in the name of Jesus. Your sick body shall be healed in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. We should seek the next instruction from God. Hallelujah. Let me tell you somebody. Sometimes we stagnate because we live by the one word that we heard from God. Amen. God wants to speak another word to you. Amen. God wants to give you a next instruction. He wants you to experience the next level. Amen. God always wants us because the Bible says he shall take us from one glory to another. Amen. He did not say that it takes one level of glory and we stay there. God says we shall be taken from one glory to another. And for you to rise from one glory to another, God gives you a word to rise up. He Amen. gives you a prophetic word every time. He gives you another word. And then you start seeing as God sees. And you start agreeing with God. And you start now speaking and doing what God is saying. Then you are lifted to the next level. Hallelujah. Amen. We need to trust God for a word for the next level. God told the Israelites when they in the wilderness... Hallelujah. He told them, you have been on this mountain for long. It is time to break camp. Hallelujah. God gave them new instruction to break camp. Today, God wants to give you a new instruction. You've been on that mountain for a long time. You've been in that situation. You've been on that level. And God wants to raise you up. That level is not fruitful. The army was there, dead but not alive. God gave a second instruction to Ezekiel, prophesy for the breath, for the weed, for the breath to come to them and they rise up. Hallelujah. Amen. God wants you to go to the next level. God wants to break camp. God wants to give you an instruction. He told the Israel, now break camp. We're going to move ahead. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. It is time to move ahead. God spoke and instructed Ezekiel, prophesy and call the weed. Amen. Prophesy. And the Bible says, that big army that was inactive and dead. It rose up and great army with life. That thing you have, you, have, you have heard, you've been asking, is it God who told me to do this? Is it God and this thing is not fruitful? Is it God and things are not working? There's a second word coming for you. Amen. And you are going to prophesy. And that thing is going to rise up. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 
and become active and become fruitful and become successful in the name of Jesus. The mission was complete and the purpose of God was accomplished. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What God saw from the beginning in the spirit now was completely built up in the natural or physical because there was a man obedient and patient enough and walking with God stage by stage and ready to obey what God is saying. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. God is some doing something about your situation, somebody. God is doing something, but you must, you must see it and agree with him. Hallelujah. You must see it and agree with God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. For it to become in the earth. For it to be established as God is seeing it. Hallelujah. Amen. He says, son of man, these bones are like the whole house of Israel. These are like the whole house of Israel. They are saying our bones are dried up. And our hope is lost. We are cut off our paths. But he said, therefore prophesy to them. Hallelujah. Amen. Tell them, that says the Lord. Oh my people, I'll open your graves and cause you to come out of your graves and bring you into the land of Israel. And you shall know that I am the Lord. When I, am, I have opened your graves, oh my people. I brought you out of your graves and shall put my spirit in you and you shall live and I shall press you in your own heart. Then shall you know that I, the Lord, have spoken it and performed it. I want to prophesy a little bit. Amen. That recent church that God is saying, though we look as if the church is dead, we see as if the church is not in operation. God is saying, I'm raising the church. I'm raising the church and I'm bringing my spirit upon the church. And it's going to rise up and prosper. And we are going to see greater miracles than we've ever seen before. We are raising an army than ever before in the name of Jesus. God is saying, though you see the economy down, though you see things are not working, I'm bringing a revival. And this revival will not only bring spiritual revival and people getting born again, healing and miracles, but also it shall turn around the economy of this nation. Hallelujah. I prophesy to you. God said, I'm raising these people. I'm opening their graves and I'm raising them up and I'm putting my spirit upon them and I'm going to praise them in their own land. God is giving an inheritance somebody. You may not look like somebody who has anything at this time. If the business has gone down. You have been sacked from the place of work. You've been laid off because there's no money. But I'm here to tell you after this season, hold on to God for the next instruction because God is raising another standard. Hallelujah. He told Israel, I'm raising them from the grave. You are in Babylon, but I'm taking you back to your land. You are in Babylon, but I'm going to prosper you again. You are in such a situation of captivity. I'm setting you free and I'm raising you up again. God is going to raise you up again, somebody. Amen. Hallelujah. Do not be like the children of Israel. Don't say you are dried up. Hallelujah. Amen. Don't say there is no hope. God is ready to turn around your situation. Are you ready? Hallelujah. He has the power to open graves. Amen. And he has the power to raise those who are in the graves and give them back fresh. And give them life. What is that situation you are going through? Amen. If God can raise somebody from the grave, if he can open it and give life and raise him back, how much more he can do in your situation? He called Lazarus four days in the grave. He was thinking and he said, Lazarus, come forth. And Lazarus, the one who was dead, came up walking and he said, I tie and tie him unless I let him go. Amen. God is doing a special miracle. Amen. Hallelujah. God is going to do things, wonders that have not been seen before. Hallelujah. You must breathe. We must believe that God is about to do the impossible and receive by prophesying. Start declaring. Receive the word. Are you ready to prophesy somebody? Yeah. I decree that your daddy's situation will live yeah. in the name of Jesus. Even that which is already buried and forgotten. God is raising up again. And God is opening up the grave. And it is raising it again. And he's going to give it life by his spirit. Amen. He is giving it life by his spirit. Amen. Oh, you don't have now to walk in fear. Don't walk as somebody who has given up. Don't walk as somebody who has brought down. See beyond what you are going through. See what God is saying. Do you believe it? Do you see it? Are you in agreement with God? Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Then begin to prophesy over your situation. Somebody begin to prophesy. If you have received this message, begin to prophesy over your situation. Begin to make declarations. Because you shall declare and it shall come to pass. God is speaking to you this word because he wants you to begin prophesying. He wants to be speaking differently. You'll be speaking negatively. You'll be saying there's no hope. You'll be saying, I don't know what we shall do. I don't think the economy will rise. I don't know our lives will change. But God is saying, begin to change your position. Begin to change your speaking. Begin to prophesy. Begin to speak what God is speaking. Begin to see what God is seeing. And stop seeing death. Stop seeing death. Stop seeing destruction. Amen. Stop seeing, hallelujah, that there's no hope. Stop seeing that way. Begin seeing through the eyes of the word of God. 
and begin to prophesy. Pray in other tongues and make declarations. Pray in other tongues. God bless you. As I come to the end, I say, God bless you. And start walking. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I want to pray with you. Father, in the name of Jesus. Bless your people as they have the word of God. Let your spirit be upon them. And they start prophesying that power be reached. They'll be raised up so that they can begin to see the power of God reached. Begin to change their lives. As this word raises faith in your people. Lord, as they start prophesying by faith, visit them. Do a new thing. Let there be a miracle. A miracle that is a miracle that has not been experienced before in their lives. Father, turn around their working places. Restore them. Restore their lives. Restore your people's lives. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. God bless you. Continue prophesying. Continue declaring that you shall live and see that and you shall not die. You shall live to declare the works of the Most High God. Amen. Continue declaring your business shall not die, shall live. Continue declaring to your children that they will see goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Continue speaking to your situation and you shall see the power of God. Amen. I want to pray for you who has not received the Lord and you want to be part of those people who walk with God, who can see what God is able to see, who is able to see the Spirit. For you to do that, you need the Spirit of God. And for you to get the Spirit of God, you need Christ. Because He is the Spirit of the Son of God. In the spirit of adoption. When you receive him, you are forgiven and you receive the spirit of God and you begin to walk as a child of God. Amen. You can pray after me. You can say, Dear, dear Lord Jesus, I am a sinner. I have heard your word and I confess my sins and I ask you, Lord, come into my heart. Be my Lord and be my Savior. Write my name in your book of life and fill me with your spirit that I may see as, as I'm supposed to see. Help me to stand and help me to walk according to your will. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. We have come to the end. You have come to the end. And uh, I want to say that if you are born again now, look for a church. I mean, uh, look for a pastor. Let him guide you, counsel you, show you the way to take. Tell your people you are born again. Uh, also read the Bible from the book of First John. And read and agree with God, what God is saying. Pray unto God as your father. And when these things are... Uh, we have a clearance and the church begins to meet. Go to a church and join a fellowship. Amen. Even fe join a fellowship your neighbors who are born again. God bless you so much. Amen. I want to say shalom, shalom. See you next time. Amen.